in the last few videos we have been discussing about different uh, logic coverage criteria in that context we discussed about criteria which involved active classes and then we discussed about coverage criteria which involved inactive classes in the context of active classes we have a criteria called GAC general active class coverage or related active class coverage restricted active class coverage and in the context of inactive class coverage we had criteria named as uh, general inactive class coverage and restricted inactive class coverage for related inactive class coverage is not relevant in the case of inactive class coverages so like uh, the uh, previous two web apps which were developed by professor palaman and jack robert's group uh, in which we demonstrated in the series of these videos in this video i'm going to demonstrate another web app which has been developed by the same group and it can be retrieved uh, from this web address uh, i will provide this web address in the description uh, description of this video and now let's uh, switch towards uh, an actual demo of this uh, web app for that you have to give an input predicate in this input field and you should also be uh, aware of the syntax followed or supported by this web app for the not you have to use this uh, exclamatory sign for the and you have to use this and uh, sign and for the or you have to use this vertical wire for implication you have to use this uh, greater than sign for uh, exclusive for you have to use this uh, exponentiation sign and for the equivalence you have to use this equal to sign and <coughs> i'm sorry you can give the input predicate in this uh, input field and once you are happy with the syntax uh, to be followed then you can input the predicate in this input field so let's try with an example so i am giving the same predicate which we have worked out uh, in an earlier example so let's try to find out its truth table what uh, the web app gives us and we remember from the exercises we did in, uh, we have done in the uh, definition section of these videos that there were three rows uh, involving the value of the predicate to be true and we see these uh, columns where the possible values of the classes are given since there are three classes eight possible combinations are possible starting from the true value to the false value all false values for all the classes and if you look at the rightmost three columns here you can see the different uh, uh, subscripted p p a p b and p c these are possible pairs of rows uh, which can be used uh, by a specific class to determine the predicate for example rows 1 2 3 and 5 6 7 can be used to uh, determine the predicate by uh, class a and in the same way rows 2 and rows 4 can be used by <coughs> b class to determine the predicate so this we can illustrate here so for example if uh, b's value is true in this case and in row number 2 and its value is false in this case in row number 4 and in the same uh, corresponding values of a and b a is true and it is again true in row number 4 and c is false in this row and it is false in this four row also it means these values changes from true to false predicates value also changes from true to false but the minor class values have not changed so so these this means b is determining the value of predicate it is it is the effect of b that is actually determining the value of the predicate to be true or false in the same way you can also think about uh, these set of values for c in row number uh, three and four so these can be used to determine whether uh, when when see the active class these these two 
pair these two pair of rows can be used to uh, determine the predicate by the class c and you can also experiment with the values of a also so now we switch towards computing uh, different uh, coverage criteria for example if i want to compute gac i will click on the gac button and you will be shown different uh, possible combinations of uh, rows pairs of rows which can be used to achieve gac for a specific class and, uh, when it is considered as a major class for example if a is the major class as you can see here these different sets of values are possible for example we can consider value 3 and 7 so in this case you can you can look at this row and you can look at this row in this case uh, a, <coughs> we are considering a to be the major class and its value changes from true to false and b's value is false here c's value is true here and again a's value is false and b's value uh, sorry b's value is false and c's value is true and the predicate has changed from true to false so this is how a is determining the value of the predicate it changes from true to false minor class values have not changed and but that is not the uh, requirement in case of gac in gac you have, can have pairs of uh, rows where minor class values can have different values so let's now try with the uh, uh, cac cac is also similar to gac and it is in fact the same set of pairs which were used in case of uh, gag so here you can see uh, again that in correlated active class coverage it is not necessary for the minor classes to have the same values they can be different and in spec specifically in this case we use minor class values to have different values when the active class is true and when it is false when it makes the predicate to have a different value so let's try randomly some uh, appear from here for example i pick 2 and 7 so now i mark 2 and 7 so in this case you can see uh, if a is the major class it means it has value 2 here and it has value false here and its value the, of the minor class is true b and it is changed to false this is the concept which i want to, uh, to illustrate b c's value is false and it remained false uh, it, and it changed to true in fact so in this case both the minor classes uh, have different values uh, when the uh, when the major class has uh, value true and when it value uh, change to false so in the case of correlated active class coverage if the predicate value changes from true to false by changing the minor class values it is allowed in uh, the correlated active class coverage so uh, restricted active class coverage is uh, somewhat uh, restricted in which minor class values are not supposed to have or not allowed to have different uh, values so let's click on wrap so now you can see a fewer number of possibilities here in these in these rows so 3 7 2 6 and 1 5 and in the, in the case of b and c to be uh, active classes only a couple uh, only one pair each is uh, available to us so for example if in the case of a to be the major class i want to have a look on row number two and row number six in row number two a is value is true and in row number six is value changes to false and you can see here that b's value is true it remained true in 6, C's value is false and its value remained false in row number 6 and predicates value changed from true to false so this is exactly the concept of restricted active class coverage that minor classes do not change their value when the active class changes from true to false so now let's switch towards GIC so in this case you can see the first condition that when the predicate is true 
in that case we have to look here in this part of the uh, call uh, in this part of the true table where the predicate is true and you can see we have three pos uh, three rows where predicate is true in those uh, in that scenario if we want a to be the active class then we have to look for those rows where a's values changes in these two, uh, three rows to be from true to false but there is no row in which a's value changes from true to false therefore <coughs> this a condition of uh, general inactive class coverage that a's value changes from true to false but the predicate remains true is cannot be fulfilled therefore no feasible pair for uh, this particular condition but there are three other conditions on the whole we cannot achieve general inactive class coverage on this predicate but for the sake of learning or for the sake of understanding we can uh, demonstrate or we can try to find out what happened in the uh, cases of uh, other possibilities for example when the predicate is false then we have to look at this part of the two table in these five rows and see whether a's value changes from true to false yes in row number four and in row number eight a's value changes from true to false and in this, in this case uh, a b and c have the same values it means uh, there is one possibility at least where uh, we can fulfill this condition that the predicate is false and a's value changes from true to false and minor class value also have the same uh, have the same value in both the cases when a is true and a is false likewise for p is equal to true we can consider this tuple uh, pairs of tuple uh, pair of tuples 1 and 3 so you can look here and you can look here in this case a is true and again in this case uh, is true but the predicate also remain true in this case and in this case and the minor class values uh, are possible to change so in one they are both true and in three they are false and true it means in this case the minor class values also change so there is no strict restriction in the case of general inductive class coverage like general active class coverage now if i want to find uh, the restricted inactive class coverage i will click on the rick button and i will be left with fewer options because now we will just consider those tuples where uh, minor class values are also the same for example we again look at this possibility of uh, p equal to false and b is the uh, major class we are considering so b is a major class so we have to look at this column and we have to look in this column where it is false so i am looking at 5 and 7 here you can see that b's value changes from true to false and minor class values are false and true and false and true and the predicate has remained false and false means minor class values are not allowed to change in this case and the inactive class value change from true to false uh, sorry the active class value in this case change from true to false and the predicate didn't change therefore this uh, satisfies the condition that when the predicate was false active class value change from true to false and the minor class value didn't change so we covered one uh, one such possibility so in the case of inactive class coverage there are four possibilities that you uh, you consider each uh, active class to be true and false when the predicate is true and when the predicate is false by either allowing the minor class values to have different values or not allowing them to have different values when you allow then it is generally inactive class coverage when you don't allow then, then it is in uh, restricted inactive class coverage so that was all for today's demo uh, we have completed the discussion on uh, class coverage uh, for logical expressions and in the next video in the next video i will come up with some uh, other interesting topic thank you very much